actually started off as an apprentice myself on this very programme and now I'm actually the apprenticeship manager for the company so it's, it's done full circle. The Bus Air and Apprenticeship programme is roughly four years. It's broke down over seven phases within the four years. One, three, five and seven are here on the job with the employer, Bus Aaron, and phase two, four and six are run in conjunction with Solus ETBs, which is Education Training Board centres uh, around the country, and then uh, TU Dublin and Athlone Institute of Technology for phase four and six. College was never on, really on the, on, the, on the cards for me. I never really had an interest in going to college. I always wanted to get out and work and this is an excellent opportunity to do that. I'm in the fourth year of my apprenticeship. I'm in phase seven at the minute. Completed all my college, I got good results. I only got my results for phase six there recently. An average day is, is usually just servicing the fleet and then every now and again we might have a bigger job that comes in. If a breakdown, if a gearbox breaks down or an engine seizes or something happens, then we, we usually bring it down here to the lifts. I grew up on a farm, so I was always into big machinery, so I always learned how to try to fix them and get them going again because they're not the newest, so that's how I got into it. I'm in my second year now, so I have another two years and I have two college phases to go through again, and then I'm, uh, I should be qualified in 2021. The main benefits, I feel, would be the, the training that they get. It's, it's top class. They're working on some of the, the newest vehicles in the public service vehicle sector, so that will stand to them. They also get then their level six QQI advanced certificate at the end of it, out of, the, of their four years. So that is worth its weight in gold. It's recognized throughout the world. Like we've had apprentices that have left the company and use that in Australia, Canada, and various places. So it's a, it's a top class uh, training to, that they get here. The lads in the garage is just, it's, they're great. Like if you needed a hand, they'd come and stop what they're doing for an hour to show you something, to get you through something. Everyone starts somewhere, so we all have to learn somewhere. And they were in my shoes when they first started off, so they obviously taken into account that they've been there and they're gonna help the next people come through, and that's what I really like about them. We hire roughly each year 30 apprentices between the two companies, and out of that, you're looking on average, probably I'd say 75 to 80% of our craft worker staff are former apprentices that have come through this program. And then we also have a lot of our managerial supervisor staff, former apprentices as well, which is a real testament to the, the apprenticeship programme. And we are trying to appeal to uh, females uh, this time around as well. I suppose it's been predominantly seen as a male-dominated industry, but that's not the case. Uh, I would recommend the Bus Air and Apprenticeship because you're working with your hands and uh, there's always something to do. You go to college um, and you're getting paid to go to college, so you're... I definitely recommend the Bus Air and Apprenticeship programme to anyone from any background, like look me, I, I came fresh out of school, I didn't know how to take or put on a wheel or nothing. I'll have the skills that I've learned in bus earning for the rest of my life and I'll always carry them with me. It's a great way to learn and you also get paid for your learning, which is another upside. I recently bought my first car and I was able to service it and with the training I received here I was able to service it on my own and save a fortune on parts and everything. It's an excellent skill to have in any trade, any trade is an excellent skill to have.